Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about a book written by the founders of Home Depot, Arthur Blank and Bernie Marcus, Home Depot Built from Scratch. This book has been written 20 years ago and it still remains a classic. Arthur Blank and Bernie Marcus, they used to work in a company called Handyman. Uh, it's a it's kind of a, a home improvement company, same, similar to Home Depot but it was way back in time. In this company, uh, Arthur Blank was managing the, 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 the company, but he had a, a CEO above him. And um, he spent a huge energy to build the company, to bring the best results and uh, the best profitability. But at the end of the day, the, uh, his boss was afraid uh, of him taking responsibility of, uh, of the full company. So he tried to squeeze him, and tried to fire him. At the end, he succeeded to find a small excuse and get rid of him. Uh, he fired him without any compensation. And as you can imagine, Arthur Blank was very, very angry, um, losing his job, spent so much energy for, for this company at the end of the day, just uh, let him go like this. So it was harsh. Um, and he wanted to take a lawyer and go and fight and and, and find a way to get a uh, compensation. But the problem is when the company is big, you need to spend a lot of money and a lot of time uh, with the lawyer to fight them. So he had either two solutions, fighting a Goliath or finding another way uh, in his life. So he chose the second option. And that's how he came up with Home Depot, a competitor against this uh, handyman. So sometimes in life, you will face a huge uh, setback. Uh, you will be uh, fired or something else. And sometimes there is some good things behind bad things. It means you have a door that is closed and a new door will, will open to you. So bad experience also bring you positive things. And uh, through this uh, bad experience, he was able to come up with his uh, next step in life, which is to build a company. And also he had a lot of learning from this experience uh, about what not to do. Uh, in his previous company, he saw all this political uh, uh, culture and uh, toxic culture. And he decided that in his company, he will develop new values. So what makes Home Depot so successful today uh, compared to the competition? Exactly the values. And this is how the company built itself, through the values of uh, their culture. So what are the values that Home Depot used to build the company? Those values are very simple. Take care of your employees, take care of your customers, and build this entrepreneur uh, spirit uh, in the team. So taking care of your employees comes first, then taking care of your customers comes next. The first step comes before taking care of your customers. If you take care of your employees, they will take care of your customers. If you don't take care of your employees, they will not take care of your customers. So this is a very simple equation, very basic. But a lot of people, they don't they forget about this uh, basics for business. We all know that if you want to do business, you need to take care of your customers. But we forget about taking care of your employees. So what happens is the customer, the employees are not happy, they are not uh, developing in the company, and they are always fed up, and they, they show it to the customers. And the customers, they feel it. And then the customers, they go shop in another place. So the very, very basic value that everybody needs to keep in mind is customer service is based on employees' happiness. So this cannot be uh, separated. It has to be uh, really on the core of all the companies. And I know in, in today's world, uh, the leaders, they don't really pay attention to that uh, topic. They think that this is something handled by the HR department, you know, to take care of, the, of your employees. It's not something that they put their mind on, on it. They are focusing on, on sales, on profitability, on short-term vision. 
every quarter they need to bring uh, the results to show a positive trend to the shareholders. And this is the only thing they care. It's very short term. The CEOs in the companies, they might have a three or maximum five years uh, in the position. So they don't have a, a long term vision. So as a founder, of course, you have very long term vision and they know that the basic of the basic start from taking care of your employees. So the book is really spending a huge amount of time talking about this topic and repeat it, repeating it again through many examples uh, throughout the life of Home Depot. So one big part of taking care of your employees is empowering them, giving them power to make decisions, more freedom, trusting them. Uh, with uh, caring comes trust. You trust them to do the, the right thing. And this is the only message you give to your, your employees. I trust you, you will do the right thing. And with this trust, they can bring up ideas. They are not afraid of trying things. They are not afraid of failure. And you can have more creative ideas and developing your company to be the best in class. So you really can feel the difference between a founder and a manager. Uh, the founder, they spend their time conveying these values again and again through uh, meetings, through uh, visits, uh, every occasion they have, every touch point they have with their employees, they will convey the values that are very simple and, sim and uh, basic. The founders, they spend a huge amount of time in the store. Uh, they don't forget that they are in business of people business. It means face to face with the customers. So they go to stores. They don't stay in their uh, in the head office and never go to the store and uh, only talk about strategy. No, they go to the store. They call it a store walk, where they spend a full day uh, in the store. They don't uh, announce their visit. They just go by surprise, like a customer, and they walk around. Some people will not recognize them. It's okay. Uh, they don't care about their ego. They put their ego behind. What they care is to know the reality of the store, to see where we can improve, to see what are the good things that can be applied in other stores, to listen to the employees and to their customers. And this is really something that you can find uh, in the different founders. The founder of Walmart is doing that. The founder of Starbucks is doing that. I think uh, Amazon, Jeff Bezos is also doing that. They go to uh, in the field and they get their knowledge. Today, many, many managers and many leaders, they spend their time in the office uh, making uh, PowerPoints, uh, meetings, and they never talk about this, uh, taking care of their employees and, and so on. So the key insight for me, and I think I've already spoke many times throughout the video, is not only about customers, it's about your people. Treat your people better. If they are happy and growing in your culture, they will serve the customers better. So it's a very simple equation that we have to keep in mind, make sure that the teams and everybody understand that they have to handle their team in a better way. And that is the key message from, from the book. So some key quotes from the book. We are only as good as our people. If the front line isn't absolutely committed to cause, we cannot win. Do the right thing, not just doing things right. The key is not to make the sell. The key is to cultivate the customer. So as you can tell, I, I really like the book. And the grade I give to the book is A-. minus. It reminds us that the priority is not to please your boss. The priority is to please your employees so they can please your customers. It seems simple and basic, but it's crucial for the success of any company. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next video. If you want to read more books, improve your reading speed and know the books I read and the insights I got from those books,
please subscribe to my channel and give me a like.